Hey, what's up, YouTube? So I'm back once again to give everyone an update on the iOS 11.3.x Electro Jailbreak status. We have some good and some bad news to discuss, but at the end of the day, the jailbreak is still scheduled to be released. So not to fear, the jailbreak is coming, but we unfortunately had some minor hiccups happen this last weekend that may have delayed the progress. <laughs> So the news that Tanner discussed in our last jailbreak update video still remains true. Now as a preface to this video, I would highly recommend to check out that video before watching this one so you can know exactly what I'm talking about at the beginning of this video. I will have it linked down in the description for you guys to easily go to. Before we start real fast, I just wanted to say thank you everyone for watching these jailbreak update videos. It's super exciting times that an iOS 11.3.1 jailbreak is just about to be released. So thank you so much for watching and again if you want to show your support, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and of course if you want to stay updated on the latest jailbreaking news and of course get notified when the jailbreak utility is released to the public don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ding that notification bell to receive updates all right on to today's news so as a quick recap tanner's video discussed a few important things the electro jailbreak is entirely complete internally that is the only piece of the puzzle we are missing is an updated remount fix for ios 11.3.x users now the jailbreak in its current state, if it were released today, would function properly on iOS 11.2 to 11.2.6 without any problems. So for those of you who missed this, Coolstar tweeted out last week notifying everyone that Electra for 11.3.1 is complete aside from the remount fix, kind of what I was just discussing, and he says once that is available we just apply it and release. There is nothing left for the Electra team to do until then. Now this tweet was actually taken down due to it mentioning the developer who is working on improving the remount fixes stability, but we were able to capture it in one of our last jailbreak update videos. Again, the Electro jailbreak team has a private remount fix as well, which is how they were able to complete the jailbreak without this remount issue. And if all goes according to plan, they intend to keep this bug private as one is already publicly available. However, the public one in its current state is rather unstable. Thus, another developer, again, like I stated, is working on improving its stability on his own project. And once that update is finalized and released publicly, the Electra team will implement it in the Electra jailbreak. And then boom, we have a public stable iOS 11.3.x jailbreak. So congrats to Coolstar and all the developers involved on creating this jailbreak and how far they have gotten thus far. It has been an amazing experience to follow along daily, seeing their progress and accomplishments, and the time is finally here where it is now complete aside from one final and important piece. But with all this progress, the community has begun once again to hinder the process and slow development. Again, I really don't know how one would fix this problem of all the ETA spammer kids or which angle of approach you would take to discourage this behavior, but I will say I have noticed a huge change in the community's tolerance of this. It has become a general known thing within the community to not ask, bug, or annoy developers with questions like this, but at this point in time, it still happens. Again, part of it, I think, is not only the community's response to this, but also I feel the problem originates sometimes from the developers themselves hyping up certain things and tweeting a ton when it's not necessary. But at the same time, I personally appreciate the constant daily updates and love to hear from the developers about personal aspects of their lives. Because at the end of the day, they are just people like you and me. They are doing something really amazing with their spare time entirely for free. So again, I really just appreciate all the hard work they do and I feel sorry at times for the responses that they receive. Now, Coolstar in particular has done things to filter out responses and block certain users to discourage this behavior, but he also recognizes that not everyone on every platform has the ability or time to do this. Now, with all this going on, at the same time, there was another major problem that surfaced this last weekend. A fake jailbreak was released for iOS 11.2 to 11.2.6, now, I have warned users in the past to avoid fake jailbreaks, but in this case, that warning remains extremely true. The knockoff jailbreak was released by an unknown team that ultimately was backtraced to a developer that has been known to release fake jailbreaks and do sketchy things like this in the past, and this time he took it to a whole new level, attempting to cover up his original identity. 
Now, the knockoff that was released comprises of old Electra code that's been modified to include Ian Beer's new multipath exploit. Now, in theory, this sounds like it would work, but in actuality, it's not that simple. It's by no means plug and play. And all of the work that the Electra jailbreak team has done over the past month ensuring that their jailbreak will work properly on your device was definitely not done in this knockoff version. So there's no guarantee this will actually work in the first place. But on top of that, this knockoff jailbreak has a huge footprint, meaning it contains a ton of extra code that really no one has any idea exactly what it does. So best case scenario, this jailbreak will crash your device and force you into restore. But even worse than that, you could not notice anything, meaning there would be no outward facing changes and the jailbreak could actually be running in the background monitoring your usage and data and at the end of the day, this jailbreak contains code directly from an older version of the Electra jailbreak, thus Coolstar knows exactly how to and will be blocking users that install this jailbreak from using their final 11.3.1 jailbreak once it's released. Now, all of the developers of the Electra jailbreak are aware of this knockoff version and have advised their followers to avoid it at all costs, thus I am passing on the message to do the same. Absolutely do not download this knockoff jailbreak. I and everyone else in the community have absolutely no idea what this thing is or what it does and really only bad things can come from attempting to use this and now for the longest time the Electra jailbreak was open source meaning anyone could legally learn from and use their code in future jailbreak projects but in this case the developer of this fake jailbreak is not only claiming the code is actually his but furthermore using it in a malicious way to harm users devices and ultimately he released a product that doesn't do what it's stated to do Thus, because of this instance, Coolstar and the Electra Jailbreak team have made the Electra Jailbreak and its future developments private to ensure something like this never happens again. Now, not to fear with all of this bad news and annoyances, the Electra Jailbreak is still being released once it's finalized and fixed up for the end user, but this fake jailbreak really ruined it for everyone. The source code of the final Electra Jailbreak will no longer be open sourced online, meaning it can no longer be used or found by third parties for developments on future jailbreaks. Anyway guys, just to reiterate myself a bit, the Electra jailbreak is still set for a public release, although no official ETA has been given, so for the love of God, please don't ask me or any developers this again. We will update you the second the jailbreak utility is released, or if any major updates have surfaced, so if you want to be notified on future developments, don't forget to subscribe before you go. Again, just to remind everyone, there's only going to be one final public release for the iOS 11.3.1 Electra Jailbreak. There will not be any public beta testing and there will not be any developer builds, only the final release. But ultimately, we are simply waiting for the remount fix to be completed for iOS 11.3.x users. But again, guys, the jailbreak is entirely complete. We are just waiting for that one fix until a public release. So it could be any day now when that is completed. And again, like I said earlier, we will inform you guys immediately the second the jailbreak utility drops. Lastly, as some final and unfortunate news, as of this last weekend, iOS 11.3, betas 5 and 6 are no longer being signed. So unfortunately, if you are watching this video and are running anything above iOS 11.3.1, you will not be able to jailbreak your devices. But with one of the longest periods of an iOS firmware being signed, I'm happy to see how many people have stuck on iOS 11.3.1 and or were able to downgrade to it before the signing window closed. So if you are on one of those firmwares, definitely be careful with what you're doing and what you're installing. Do not install any fake jailbreaks. Do not install any jailbreak toolkits like Houdini or Tornyat or anything along those lines. At this point in time, you must be extremely careful with your iOS device, ensuring it doesn't update over the air. So I would highly recommend to install a tvOS beta profile to block and restrict updates from happening on your device, say overnight by accident. Anyway guys, I just wanted to let you know, at this point in time, there is now officially no way to downgrade to iOS 11.3.1 for general users. Now there are a few really advanced ways, but that really can't pertain to the general public because you will need a developer account in most cases. Anyway guys, I just wanted to inform you of this news. If you are on iOS 11.3.1, you are perfectly fine and the jailbreak will be compatible. It sounds like it's going to be compatible all the way from iOS 11.2. 
to 11.3.1 so any iteration of iOS in that range is going to be okay as far as we know at this point in time. Again what you're seeing on screen right now is just a Photoshop mockup that I created. This is not the official tool that is going to be released. It's still uncertain at this point if iOS 11.3 beta 5 and 6 users will be able to jailbreak or if that beta is going to expire anytime soon. We will just have to wait and see and I will keep you guys updated if any new information rolls out pertaining those users. But if you guys are extremely excited for this jailbreak to be released and you're tired of all the ETA spammer kids and fake jailbreaks that come out, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and show your support. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching today's video, but until next time, this is Tony, signing out. Thank <laughs> you.